Welcome back everybody. The winds is up. Time to do some gear maintenance. And uh, the last time I went diving out uh, with Captain Gary shot that Kahala and the Kahala got wrapped around the reef and it just shredded some of my shooting line. And also that it shredded some of my uh real line. So it's about time that I go ahead and change it you can kind of see only if you can see it it's kind of yeah there you go it's all shredded so this is not good if i took this out diving and say i shot something decent and it happened to wrap around the reef right over here where it's shredded this thing's gonna snap and i'm gonna lose the fish i might get lucky and land it but <laughs> nine times out of ten you're gonna lose the fish so i'm gonna go ahead today and change out this mono or shooting line you can also see that this, this bungee or shock cord is super weak. It's pretty old. So I'm gonna change that today too. And then also I'm gonna show you another way to put on your spear gun flasher that's not on the anchor. You can see I got my grass lamp shooting line. This is 200 pound mono. I had a new shock cord. And I got a crimper with a couple crimps for the mono. So the first thing I want to do is I want to lose this. This is a weak part in the real line. So I definitely don't want that on my gun. So I'm just going to loosen the drag. This is my Hatch Rhino. You guys know this is like my, my bread and butter go-to gun. I did have a little trouble the, the last dive getting it dialed in. But it usually takes about one or two dives for me to get it down again. And then I'm going to release the shaft and the shooting line. And then I'm going to pull that line through. The line all the way through. So I can cut it. Okay. Now that it's off, I'm going to just burn this so that thing doesn't fray. So after you cut off the part you don't want, you're going to create an overhand knot and create a loop like this with some extra slack over here. And then you're gonna feed it through underneath the loop to cinch it down, just like that. So this right here, this is gonna be your loop size. And then you're gonna pinch this line together. You're gonna wrap it once twice and then you're going to feed that end of the line through the two loops that you just created okay and then you're going to pull that put them together or pull them together just like that oh it's a little bit bigger than i wanted but let's still work out I'm going to cut off the excess. And then you're going to burn them. Torches are really good, man. Really come in handy. That's the first step. So I'm left with this. This is left over here. I got my flasher over here. So I'm going to take my flasher back. You're going to feed the other side of the ball bearing swivel on top or through the bungee side of the spear gun shock cord. Okay, and then you're going to feed this through like a luggage tag. And then you will pull it down. The stopper not stops it, and this is now a little bit more back, but that's okay. Okay, so that's another place you can put it. So now I'm gonna take off this the old mono to change out the mono. It's the last step.
okay? Then give it a pull test. So after this crimp, you're gonna wanna try to feed yourself a lot of mono, depending if you wanna do single wrap or double wrap. So you wanna kinda line them up. So I'm gonna wrap it. You don't have to worry about going under the bungees yet. Just go around your, your whatever spear gun groove you have that has a mono. Just like you're about to wrap and shoot the gun. So I'm gonna wrap it around my line. Release. Wrap it around my line anchor. Back down to my release and then it goes up to my new spear gun shock cord or spear gun bungee. Okay, so I'm gonna give myself a little bit extra just in case and then I'm gonna cut. So after you measure it and line it up, you're just gonna feed this through just like how you're gonna wrap your spear gun after you shoot it. So you're gonna go under the bungee, pull that extra line out into your spear gun groove down to your trigger mat to your line anchor back down so this is double wrap and then i'm gonna go to my bungee you can see that uh there's it's a lot of extra because i like to Go a little bit shorter so that way there's always tension because you can always feed real line up to um, lock in your shooting line. So I'm going to cut the excess off right here. Probably do it right at the edge of the swivel. Okay, so I'll make my last crimp. I'm just going to feed it through a simple loop. Crimp close to the edge, but not all the way up. And then screw over just a little bit and do the other side, close to the edge, but not all the way. Okay, trim the excess. Bam. And then, see that it's short, right? What you're gonna do is attach it to your new shock cord bungee. All right, so now I'm ready to get back in action. Give this video a like if it was helpful. Subscribe if you wanna see more content and go get them guys. Aloha.